This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Boy, we're going to be dealing with some very nice temperatures overnight tonight. Look at these lows, not uh, maybe even falling down below 30 degrees. We're barely going to get below freezing overnight here in some areas as we're in a milder weather pattern uh, here. We got into the 50s today. We'll be back close to that again tomorrow. So not really very cool at all tonight. Nice weather really all week. Temps remain above normal. Maybe some snow in our forecast for next week, but we're starting to grasp at straws. 49 yesterday after a morning low of nine. So that's a big 40 degree warm up during the day. 20 below that record low and 67 in 2009 for a record high. We're going to be close to that record high uh, for the weekend. Nothing in the rain gauge, still a very dry start to 2020. Well, that cold air that we had yesterday with those single digits and uh, teens in the eastern portions of the state, even some sub-zero readings this morning, has moderated and pushed off to the east, retreated a bit. They're finally in the 20s and 30s on the eastern side of the state. We remain in the 40s all along the uh, eastern portions of the Front Range, uh, 38 in Lyman, 42 in Denver, 37 right now up in Casper. It's 38 Ogallala, Valentine, Oshkosh, Alliance also at 38 degrees. Look at this warmer air just here off to the western portions of the region. 46 in Torrington and Wheatland, 44 right now in Scotts Bluff. Winds a little gusty here uh, and the, uh, right off the uh, mountains. Otherwise, that's about it. And even the wind chills tonight, not really a factor in the uh, 30s and low 40s for wind chills. Got to love that. Uh, as you get on the bus tomorrow, how about this for January 21st to get on the bus at uh, 31 degrees? That's not bad at all as you head on the bus and coming home near 50, partly cloudy skies. Really going to be a pretty nice day tomorrow. Just uh, less clouds. Uh, the clouds are going to decrease tonight. We had a pretty cloudy day today. Even though it was cloudy, temps managed to warm up today. Uh, it'll clear out tonight overnight and drop our temperatures down into the upper 20s and low 30s. Some areas not falling below freezing tonight. Uh, that is pretty cool because normal highs this time of year only in the low 40s. So we're going to be closer to a high temperature for a low tonight. Tomorrow, trying to push a little bit of a rain or snow shower through. We have just a 20% chance uh, in our forecast. That's about it. And it's going to be right along that uh, frontal system tomorrow afternoon and evening uh, when we see that. Highs before that front gets here going to be well into the 40s to near 50 degrees again all across the region, slightly colder up around Lusk, Shadron and Gordon is there closer to that frontal system coming through. Partly cloudy tonight, comfortable, a low down around 30. That is really, really nice. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds tomorrow, 50 for a high. Quiet weather continues for the most part. Can't rule out a snow flurry or a snow shower, but that's about it for tomorrow. Could be some rain or snow showers mixed at times. Down into the 40s on Thursday and Friday, and then look at Saturday and Sunday. Boy, what a weekend. Highs in the low to mid 50s right on into Monday. Then late Monday into Tuesday, it looks like a storm system going to come through and maybe clip us with a chance of some late day snow showers Monday night into Tuesday morning before they end a quick moving system. Nothing major right now in that time frame, but enough for at least going to throw a 40% chance of snow showers into the forecast at the tail end of this seven day forecast.